welcome to Reamp Roundup, a weekly summary of energy news from the Upper Midwest region. It's the week of March 24, 2008, and I'm Melina Belkov. Wisconsin Governor Jim Doyle has announced an administrative rule that would reduce mercury emissions in power plants. The proposed rule could reduce emissions by 4,400 pounds per year, or 90%, according to the Capital Times. As mercury is associated with health risks, Governor Doyle believes the reductions could save more than $200 million in health care related costs. A Minnesota wind farm project has signed a letter of intent with the Wisconsin Public Service Corporation to produce renewable energy in Wisconsin. High County Energy LLC will span 70 acres in southeastern Minnesota. Developers will complete the project by 2013 at the earliest, according to the Green Bay Press Gazette. A new report shows that North Dakota power plants release the most CO2 per megawatt hour of electricity. The Environmental Integrity Project conducted the report. Other states that fell into the same category as North Dakota are Wyoming, Kentucky, Indiana, and Utah. The report also found that power plant CO2 has grown by 3% in the last year, according to the Associated Press. A Michigan coalition called Clean Energy Now urged Governor Jennifer Granholm to help reduce power plant pollution. The group seeks an executive order to the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality to regulate CO2 emissions, according to the Detroit News. Governor Granholm's spokeswoman did not make a direct comment on Clean Energy Now's request. Regulators have decided not to build a $10 billion oil refinery in Kansas and to instead consider South Dakota. Hyperion Resources Incorporated chose South Dakota because Kansas's regulations are too uncertain, according to the Associated Press. Hyperion will most likely build the refinery in Elk Point. Iowa's Sierra Club and Community Energy Solutions urged Governor Chet Culver at the State House to stop new coal plants, according to the Times Republican. The groups were specifically opposed to proposed coal plants in Marshalltown and Waterloo. The group also lobbied the governor's office and legislators. Environment Illinois has issued a report outlining how energy efficiency could improve the economy. It could create jobs and save money. The report mentions replacing inefficient appliances and upgrading heating, cooling, and lighting systems, according to the Associated Press. And that's it for this week. From all of us at Reamp Roundup, thank you for being with us. Please join us again next week.